All right, shop test number one with the Canon camera. What we're doing this evening is I've got a, oh, what do you call this? You call this a shackle. And I got a shackle, and I don't know if you can see it in this camera or not. I'll take some pictures of it. We don't know if these are cracks or if these are surface imperfections. But also what I have is a couple of homemade soft shackles. And I'm going to tie these shackles together and see which one fails first. We're going to hit it on this jack here. Check it out. Soft shackles kind of take the place of carabiners. You can use them to secure stuff such as a reserve parachute. You can even clip into your wing with these things. Of course, you'd use a backup like O-rings to hold the knots tight so that the knots wouldn't come loose. Let's lower this down here. But what we're going to do is we're going to test out and see which goes first. And I've got it. Let's get it secured right in the middle. All right. So, test number one. Let's go to failure. Got your eye protection on? I'd like to watch it explode. <laughs> oh, we're failing the, uh, the little S hook at the top, ain't we? Boy, that is tight. That is so tight, you can't hardly move it. Yeah, this is probably going to pop off, is what's probably going to happen. It'll probably break my camera, too. It's all right. This is just some rednecking. Yeah, popped off. That's what I thought. Test failure. We'll keep going. All right, we got it re-rigged now. Let me get it straightened up so that we're we in line with everything. We got two soft shackles and then this big hook. Let me put my face mask back on. Oh, hell. This is scary. I know. How much fun? It feels like steel. It feels like solid steel. It's got to be bending something. All right, well, I don't know that I like seeing your toes so close to it. Yeah. I mean, but the force is only going to go one way, really. Yeah. Freaking tight. I can't hardly pump it anymore. Oh. <laughs> nice. Hey guys, Future Kyle here. Just wanted y'all to know that I was leaned back out of the way. I knew that this thing was about to catapult toward my face. I was also wearing a full face mask, like a welding hood. Safety first. That was uh, let's look at what we got here at the scene of the accident. I've not touched anything. It looks like we're gonna have to find a few pieces. We got the shackle laying right here. It, it broke at the threads and it bent the edge back here. Soft shackle number one, it, it's fine. <laughs> There's no damage. I, hell, you could probably reuse it. All right, where's soft shackle number two? It shot up through the ceiling here. This part that wasn't secured, it, it shot out like a slingshot. Here's the pin that come out of it. I guess we lost the damn, um, what do you call it, the cotter pin. And here's soft shackle number two. Has it got damage? That was where the, um, where that failed. The sharp edges on this is what damaged this. The one at the bottom is undamaged. It, it had nothing. This is damaged because that sharp piece tore at it as it went by. So that's, this one's damaged. This one's still good. That's how much those soft shackles can take. I like them. I use them on my reserve mounts. Yeah, soft shackle technology. This went before that did. But also it tells me that those probably were not cracks right there. That those were probably just surface defects because it failed at the pin and not the actual shackle that I thought was damaged. But still, it was an interesting test. I like it. Hope you enjoyed that. Much love, guys. Kyle out.